Hello everyone and happy Earth Day to you. Today is a day where many community organizations will go out and do something to improve the quality of our environment. Whether it be planting trees or maybe perhaps picking up trash from a creek bed. When I was still working with the Park Service down in the state of Maryland, one of my instructors um, actually showed us a really cool program that we could do for kids back in our own parks because of the fact that, let's face it, the Chesapeake Bay is not exactly what you would consider as a healthy waterway anymore. But during this cool icebreaker, this was kind of like a visual tool and I really um, come to like the way that this was uh, done. So I kind of adapted it into our own educational program here to kind of showcase how pollutants can make their way into the creek beds, which flow directly to smaller rivers, which flow directly into the main arteries. And then from there, such as the Susquehanna, make their way down to the Chesapeake Bay. So armed with a group of people, participants received one sheet of paper. They usually received some type of writing utensil and then they received a blue crown or some type of magic marker. Unfortunately, I really don't have a blue crown, so I found the closest thing that we have here. So my instructor basically said, take a piece of paper that's blank, take your crown and do something to make half of it. So draw a line or something in the center. It could be a straight line, it could be a squiggly line, it could be whatever you want, a wavy line. So I figure, you know what, I kind of appreciate the wavy lines. So I did something sim similar to this. And then from there, my instructor during interpretive training, and of course I went on to teach um, interpretive training to lots of staff during my career. You take the crayon and you color one side of it blue. Okay, that's kind of weird, but okay, I'll do it. I'm game. So we colored one side blue. And it doesn't have to be perfect as long as you got one side blue. From there, we put the crayon down and we picked up the writing utensil. And we were to basically build or draw out our dream homes or businesses or whatever it was that we want on this clear side, the white side. So me, back then, I was interested in all kinds of different things. So I went ahead and I put a house here. And then of course, me liking to work in a garage, I decided to go ahead and build a garage here for my trucks or if I wanna work on mowers or if I wanted to reload my ammunition because I didn't wanna do that in the house. Whatever it was, I chose to go ahead and put it right up against this blue side. From there, I was like, you know what? It's a good property. And at the time I was really into authentic uh, living histories. And I'm like, you know what? It'd be nice to have a fenced in area and maybe perhaps have some horses. So I drew in my fenced in area and I put a barn here. And I even drew a horse, you know. And of course, I'm not the very, I'm not good at drawing, but at any rate, it, it was fun, you know. And of course, I had like a tool shed here, you know, stuff that wouldn't fit in the garage. And I pretty much made it into like a really cool uh, place that I would love to relax and enjoy. And you know, I had a couple trees here for the shade. And the rest of this was pretty much my yard. So when I was done, I had something similar to this, okay? Now let's do another one real quick. So I'm just gonna draw a line, color half of it. And then from there, let's just say that I really don't want all the, the necessities there. So I'd, you know, 
house, lots of trees, because I like to go hunting. And I have a, a clear area here to where I can go down to a dock for fishing. And of course, you know, we'll put a small working shed here. And here's my driveway. Something like that. So, as you can see, we did two of these in less than pretty much a couple minutes. So from there, let's go ahead and see what this is all about. So the next step after that, we were basically told to go ahead, stand up and form two lines facing each other and then take your blue sections and put the blue sections together. It doesn't matter how the picture looks if things are upside down, just as long as the blue sections were lined up. So by the time you have said and done, you had something that looked like this. So from there, everybody stood with everything laying on the ground, everybody still standing in, looking at each other. We kind of got the idea pretty quickly what this was about. So the blue actually represents a waterway. And then, of course, you have the structures of what would become your dream house or your dream property or whatever it was. From there, the instructor basically went down the line of everybody. So, take my stuff here, come over here. So as you can see, this one here, we have a house, a driveway, a small building, the trees, which is a forest, and of course a small fish, uh, like a dock for fishing or maybe perhaps boating. This was the one that I just did for you a couple minutes ago just like this one here. So from there, my instructor basically did a quick assessment on the pollutions or the, the pollution that would come off of the property. So we have a tree line here. Of course, the house is back far enough. So really, as far as like any kind of um, pollution, she would then reach into the bag and give us some sanitized trash, such as like plastic six pack, clean cans, glass bottles, um, junk paper. So since I don't have any of that here, I'm basically, I'm going to use pencils and markers. So let's just say for a pollution, uh, for pollution wise, this really doesn't make much of, it's not much of a concern. So as far as like my pollution, we'll go ahead and just give me two of them. Coming down here, same thing. We have basically a house, a barn, it's fenced in. This is clear. The rest of this is a wooded lot. So we'll go ahead and throw maybe one pencil down to represent the pollution. Now here, as you can see, we have a horse, a barn, a shed, a home. This is a field, no trees, no nothing. And it's right up against the creek. So for a farm, and I love farming, and I'm, you know, I have relatives that are farmers that raise horses. Unfortunately, the manure, um, everything else that comes from a farm, every time it rains, it goes right into the creek. So my instructor, when she looked at me for something like that, she would give me a lot of trash. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it four. Over here, we have a house with a pool. No trees, just basically an open ground. So we're just basically, we're gonna go ahead and give it two. Hopefully this is making sense to you. From there, she went on to the other line, okay? So we have a business. We got some trees, a house, a barn for horses or for cattle. So again, that's pretty much lined up against the creek. So here would be a pile that would represent the pollution. 
And then from there, we have a house set away. That might get one. Same way with this. Since it is kind of close to the creek bed, we'll give it that. And the other one that I drew for you as an example, we have yard trees, we've got a shed, a garage, a barn, but you can see it's pretty close. So you've got to figure oil contaminates, uh, contamination from the farm animals, the manure and stuff like that. So we would get, I would basically give it something like that. So now you're probably asking, okay, what is this and how does it, what does it represent? So let's go ahead and just, for an example, demonstrate. This is upstream, upstream. This is downstream. So every time that the water flows, as I said earlier, it goes from a small creek to some type of contributory, um, contributory. So as it rains and the water flows, the trash and the pollution would get built up. So from there, our instructor would ask for this person to hand off their trash to this person. This person would hand off the trash to this person, and this person would hand off their trash to that person. And as you can see, here's all the trash. Same way with this side here. This person hands it off to this person, this person hands it off to that person, and then this person here hands it off to this person here. This was a visual tool that basically demonstrated how things upstream make their way down into the creeks, into the rivers, and eventually into the major arteries, say, such as the Susquehanna River, which flows directly into the Chesapeake Bay. So the message really in that um, presentation, and it doesn't take long to do, but it is an eye opener, and it does kind of show you visually how pollutants can travel upstream to downstream. So on Earth Day today, let's just go ahead and figure out, hey, let's stop the litter, but at the same time, let's figure out how we can clean up our waterways. That way the water can be a little bit cleaner and the waterways themselves have a lot of history to them, but at the same time, they also provide recreationalists such as myself, opportunities to go either swimming or in my case, uh, fishing. And every year I do hear stories about the fish that are being pulled out of the Susquehanna River. So other than that, happy Earth Day, everybody. Hope you liked the quick presentation. Youth groups that are out there, if you guys are interested in this presentation and would like to go ahead and come here um, for us to do a much larger version of that, just go ahead and send us a quick email and we can go ahead and schedule that for you. Until then, everybody, have a good one, stay safe. We'll see you next time.